Live from Dietrich Gymnasium in New Britain, Connecticut, this is Northeast Conference Basketball on ESPN3 and NEC Front Row. Tonight, the Fairleigh Dickinson University Knights take on the Blue Devils of Central Connecticut State. One and done for the Knights, not putting too much pressure on the offensive boards. Deep three goes Tennyson. Trey living up to his name. 52 out of 83 points came from Jenkins, Powell, and Malone Key. It's going to be interesting to see what they combine for tonight. Tennyson launching. Wow! Are you kidding me? Greg Horenda calls time. Trey Tennyson. And left the offensive player behind him inside. Stolen by Ayungma. Two on one here. Outlaw spinning. Wow! Outlaw. 7.20 left first half. Outlaw again! Mismatch there, Outlaw just very quick. Central Connecticut, a very quick passing team. Ball not sticking right now, Jenkins deep three. That's good! Jaleel Jenkins, FDU fourth in the league shooting threes. Tennyson's three. That's good. Three won't fall for Reed. And that's not a good shot right there. And again, the young freshman, you don't need that shot. You've got a big lead. Move the ball around a little bit. See if you can get a little better look than a force three. Agreed. Powell's three is good. Brandon Powell. Trap of the basketball here. Krishnan from deep. That's good. And that is three for Ian Krishnan. Here's Wilson, almost turned it over. Krishnan finds a shooter, Rowe, that's three! And count it! Chance for a four-point play. Way off the mark, rebounded by Powell. Three on one, Malone Key hits it, and he's fouled! Xavier Malone Key taking flight. Just named to the All-Decade team. He's their all-time leading scorer. Corsley Edwards, yep. Obi Wadiki. Jenkins, got it with one on the shot clock. What a great shot by Jenkins there, falling away. They needed that bucket. Reed works some clock. Donnell Marshall calls out the play. Newkirk, seven on the shot clock. Krishnan's three, that's good! A huge bucket for Ian Krishnan. Historically this year, FDU fourth in free throw shooting. Jenkins, three is good! A huge basket for the Knights as their bench explodes. It's a one possession game inside three minutes to go. Here you got Reed, the same thing right now. Minute and a half to go. Malone Key gets the roll. Xavier Malone Key. Like, if looks good kill, what are you possibly thinking about, young, young man, a young freshman? Jameer Reed has it. Drives, kicks, Baker's three, good! Penetration all game. The penetration that the Blue Devils have been able to get against the Knights defensively. He didn't come close to missing the last two. Krishnan missed it, maybe on purpose, and that'll do it. Central Connecticut wins it 76-75 in thrilling fashion here in New Britain. Danielle, at halftime, you reminded me that you're up 20 at St. Francis. Does this bring back some memories? It definitely brings back some memories, but I tell you, we learned from that game. These kids fought the second half. Uh, earlier, like you saw, we would have lost that game. They stayed tight, even through adversity, and they stayed together. They're the ones who were talking in the timeouts this time. They didn't have their heads down like they did in St. Francis PA, and that shows you how much they're growing. Well, you're up 18, you're up 13 at the half. You hung on here, you made some free throws at the end of the ball game. Um, Trey Tennyson came in knocking the ball down left and right. Didn't play much in the second half. Any reason? Well, we needed defense in the second half. And, uh, you know, he was slacking a little bit defensively. That's still part of the learning process. And we had to go with the guys who were going to get stops. And that's a that's an NCAA tournament team over there in FDU. They had guys who knew how to play. And we had to get the guys out there that was going to play defense. And that's nothing against Trey. He's still learning and stuff. Um, but we just had to go with the guys who were going to try to get stops. You got two straight now. Some momentum going. You've got a couple games left. How does this help you for the last couple? It helps us. 
these kids want to continuously fight. They think they still have a shot at the NEC, and, and they're going to keep fighting. And um, it, it's helping them grow. Again, they're, they're looking forward to the end of this year, finishing tough and building for next year, and they're showing it. Super. Danielle, thank you. We're going to bring in Ian right now and talk to him about a free throw shooting. <laughs> thank you. Ian, come on in here. Good. Congratulations on your free throw shooting. I'll have to ask you, though, the last one. Did you miss that one on purpose? Now I tried to make it. Sometimes, you know, it's just a bad No, time. no. That was such a brick. You didn't try to make that. <laughs> no, man. It's crazy, man. So how was it, though, the time before there when you know you really needed to make those free throws? Um, I mean, that's what we practice for. You know, we really we really picked up our practice habits and practice, and we focus on everything we do. So it kind of makes it easy, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of fun. It's, it's, it's almost like you know you're going to win. You have the chance to put the team up, so you got to do it. So you, know. you had the experience at St. Francis with the big lead at the half. You lost mm -hmm. that ball game. How much yeah. did that help you tonight? Yeah, I mean, you know our team's real young, so uh, everybody's, you know, growing every game. It may not look like it sometimes, but every game, every practice is another chance for them to grow. And this is a perfect opportunity for everybody to see that. We we are growing and we are improving, you know, so. Well, congratulations on a hard-fought win and good Thank luck you. the rest of the season. Appreciate that. Man. Thank you, Ian. Appreciate it. Dave, back to you.